Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you play. Uh-huh. Um, I'm just going to run you through the controls real quick mm-hmm. and then we'll see how you get to, um, where you get to for, for us. I like to figure it out. Okay. There you go. Um, for you audio listeners, it, this part might be a bit, um, frustrating. However, if you are, if you are listening on Spotify, you can open and just watch the video. Um, if you're on any other platform, you, uh, I'm sorry, but you're, you're doomed. You can watch yeah, it on, yeah, on YouTube. We'll, we'll give a, we'll, we'll give try audio, to, we'll try to like give audio commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be like the, the commentators on, um, on uh, like road shows or or boxing matches. Sure, sure, sure. Well, Catherine Barron's over here. She's riding in this sort of ditch part at the observatory. She's doing a pretty pretty all right job for for um, someone of her skill level. <laughs> a middle aged white woman. A middle aged white woman playing Skate <laughs> Three. Oh, nice. Um, so for those of you who don't know Skate Three, and I know very little about this game, but Skate Three is. Um, a game about skateboards that you use the controllers to do the controls to do cool tricks and that is the whole game and the the sort of premise is you're you're starting a skate company um or a skateboard company and you as the skater have to promote the boards that you're selling so um i thought it would be a very productive thing for mom to play something that she's never played before and never thought or desired to play before. So, um, that's, <laughs> mom that's, is not that's unknown doing. to video games. Yeah. Like there's a, <clears throat> yeah, you did play on the, the PS one PlayStation one. I heard. I, uh, I did more, I think it was PS two when it came to, um, uh, when it came to, Oh man, I fell. When it came to, I like Jack and Daxter. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed that game. When you guys, so I remember Sonic the Hedgehog. I remember enjoying playing Sonic the Hedgehog when I was, uh, my brother got that, uh, my brother Wilder had the, what was it, that Sega Genesis? Mm-hmm. He had that. And when Colby was little, Colby's my youngest brother. He's 15 years younger than I am. So I was like in college and Colby was like three or four. And, uh. It had like a demo mode, not demo mode, but when the game was just sitting there. Free play mode. Yeah. Well, not even free play, but the game was just like when you weren't playing the game, Mm -hmm. Sonic would just start doing his thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Like an idle animation. (laughs) Sneezing. Yes, an idle animation. Like what I'm doing right now. And uh, so Colby, all you had to do was just sit Colby in the chair (laughs) in front of the, in front of the monitor and just let him hold the controller mm-hmm. and you wouldn't even have to plug the controller up you would just he let would him just... hold the controller and just let it do idle play and he would think he was playing and he loved it so i remember sonic and the the noise when you would get the little rings the coins or whatever so satisfying and then when sonic would like die and all of his coins would just explode out of him and then you'd have to try to catch as many of them as you could mm-hmm. that was so much fun and so with that memory in mind, when the Lego, Lego games, Lego Dimensions, the Le- no, oh, like the yeah, yeah, the, the Batman, the and, Batman Lego, and uh-huh. Lord of the Rings, let was it Lord of the Rings? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Harry Potter Legos, mm-hmm. and then I think the one I played the most was the Avengers. Oh, really? You don't remember me playing that game no, with you? No, but I loved that game. There's so video much. of me playing that game with you guys upstairs. Super fun. 